<clears throat> hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel, Divinely True Tarot. I am your reader, Anetta. And I'm coming with the Divine Masculine read right now. I just uploaded Divine Feminine, so we're going into the Divine Masculine right now. So let me adjust my camera so you can see the table. Yeah, that's it. Okay, I've already saged and blessed my cards. I already have the energies going, so we're just going to dive right on into the tarot and see what messages spirit has for divine masculine, okay? Please keep in mind that these readings, the energies could flip-flop. This is a general reading, so take the messages as they resonate and leave the rest for those that need them, okay? All right, let's rock. Let's get an overall energy for divine masculine. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. What's the overall energy of Divine Masculine, please? Let's get one. Holy Spirit. Thank you, my love. Okay. All right. Can you pop it out for me, please, Holy Spirit? Archangel Spirit, guys, thank you. Oh, woman holding a heart. This Divine Masculine knows that you love him. Uh-huh. Or this... Yep, it's chasing possibilities at the bottom. Yeah, this divine masculine knows that he is loved by you, okay? And it's opened up his energies to receive that love from you, okay? He know it. Mm-hmm. He know it. You are in his energies with your love, divine feminine. Regarding this divine masculine here, let's make some room. All right. Let's get... A message. Mm, finding in the reverse. My cards is not in the reverse. But it pops out like that. Okay? Mm, mm, mm. Alright. We're going to leave it like that. They said leave it like that. So we'll see if it pop out. We'll see if it pop out. But um, anybody who is not new to my channel, you know that cards, they be changing and reversing right on the table. So, you know. I'm not surprised about that. But let's see. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what message do you have? What message do you have regarding Divine Masculine, please? Oh, nope. I missed it. I missed it, baby. Can you bring that back around, please? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Ancestors. My ancestors been talking, though. They, they been, woo, they been going deep. <laughs> but let's see. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Can you pop one out, please? I heard Divine Masculine is hiding. Hiding the truth. Hiding the truth about something. I don't know. Okay. Here we have empowerment. Two came out for Divine Masculine. And grieving. Divine Feminine had this, this same grieving energy. Here. What's at the bottom? Reconciliation. Boo yeah. I told you. This divine masculine knows that he loves you and he's grieving the loss of you. This is why he wants to reconcile with you. Here. Yeah. You could have expressed how much how you cared or how much you love this divine masculine after he fucked you over. And now he's feeling he's dealing with the grief of that. But with this empowerment energy right here, he's trying to overcome that. And come back around to you because he know how much you love him. You are the woman holding the heart in this divine masculine's energies here. Oh. All right. Holy Spirit, holy angels. Let's um get an advice. What advice do you have for divine masculine regarding this spread, please? Mm-hmm. It's feeling, it's feeling twinish. Um, for some of you guys, you're resisting reconciling with this masculine this is why he's grieving so much you see with this reconciliation card how these two are pulling apart this is how he feels he feels that you you ripped away from him Ooh, okay i heard ripping away ripping away rip off that bandage uh, rip off that band-aid so that wound could heal is what i heard okay this is what he's trying to do for some of you guys holy spirit holy angels what is the advice for divine masculine regarding the spread we got yeah we thank you he's tongue-tied too meditation brings answers this is what divine masculine need to do in order to 
reconcile and take action. I heard get direction from the divine. Look, ask others for help. These are your spirit guides and ancestors and angels here. Divine masculine. This is what you need to do. You need to meditate to get the answers that you need because you're grieving. Baby, you're grieving the loss of this woman that loved you. And you know it. You feel it. You want it here. Baby, take action towards it here. Okay? Mm, mm, mm. Let me sip my tea. Hold on. Oh, look. Side note. This came from New Orleans. You know, I love it. Just in case you was wondering. Okay. All right. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. What can you tell me about empowerment, grieving, and reconciliation? Why is that here? You're gaining your power back is what I heard because this woman loves you so. And you're grieving the loss of that love. Now you see. Hell yeah, now you see. Was, ooh, I'll take it. The way it flip out, I'll take it. And it's the nine of swords in reverse. Booyah. Mm-hmm. And you have the three of wands. You gaining your power back. You're, you're, I heard you, yep. You're, you're gaining your power back, baby, because you're, you, you know there's more out there for you here. Okay, and you're coming out of this mental grief here, this mental anguish here. This is that empowerment energy. You're, yeah, you're willing yourself out of this here, out of this loss is what I'm hearing. Holy Spirit, what other message? Let's get some more. What other message do you have? Yeah, you don't want to do this anymore. You're starting to see what you can do in order for you to come up out of these energies here because it, that grief is heavy. But with the Nine of Swords in reverse, it's making me feel as though there is regret here. Uh-huh. There is regret here. The Hierophant could be dealing with a Taurus or you could be a Taurus. You want to commit to this. You want to commit to this woman that's holding your heart. Uh-huh. 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 Some of you guys could be grieving the loss of a marriage here. And you know that this woman loved you so. This divine feminine here. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Learning the lessons. I heard you, Spirit. You're learning the lessons of love here. Through the love that this woman had for you. Oh, yeah. Dang. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, any other message? Some of you guys could be going to counseling. Yeah. Some of you, some of you divine masculines is, are in counseling to try to heal your mental here because you didn't know, I heard. You didn't know. You didn't know that you lost this love here. You didn't know how much this love, you didn't know how much this woman loved you until you, until you lost her and it threw you for a loop to the point where you're seeking some type of counsel or guidance as to how to come up out of these energies. I heard forgiving yourself. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You're learning how to forgive yourself. Coming back to self is what I heard. The night of pain. Oh, shit. Look what just flipped on tape. Oh. Here we have the Knight of Pentacles. This is going towards something more solid, stable, and secure. Or this is what you want to offer. This woman that's holding the heart. But you're taking your sweet ass time. You're not too sure here. You're not too sure. And then we have the Knight of Wands here. Okay, these are opposing energies. It's like your will is there, but your action is not. This is the reason why Spirit in your advice said take action here. Because you're not. The will is there, but the actions are not. I heard apologize here. The Ace of Wands. Now you have the Knight of Wands and the Ace of Wands. So there is passion here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you want to rush in. You want to rush back to this feminine here. With wand in hand. You missed that good thing is what I heard. Because here we have the devil. Now you had the ace of wands and the devil. This is nothing but hot, passionate sex right here. I'm sorry. Especially with this nine of wands. This in and out energy here. Some of you guys 
could be dealing with something that's toxic in your life that you're trying to run away from for some of you. Could be dealing with a Capricorn or you could be a Capricorn. This is leaving this. This is fear here. This is this is fear. You're leaving fear here. What is this? The Nine of Pentacles. See? Mm-hmm. Gaining your balance and stability back. You're leaving fear. There is something that you feared in the past, Divine Masculine, that you're leaving. You're hauling ass away from it. But you're not too... You're showing up as a knight, so action is going to be taken here. This is your advice. Take action. You got two knights out here. Those are action cards. Those is, That's somebody that is taking action, but you're very cautious here. You're very cautious. Let's, let's see. Let's clarify. What's the devil energy here? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Can you clarify the devil, please? Oh, you feel bound to this person. You feel that you have to have this person, the Queen of Swords. I told you, you're taking action to cut this off. You're leaving fear behind. Okay? Somebody could have been cold towards you, or you could have been cold towards someone here. This person cut you off. Uh-huh. This person cut you off because of some type of toxic energy that was around you or that you were in. Or this could be you cutting this person off because they were toxic towards you. Okay? What else can you tell me about the devil here? But this queen of swords, she done been through some shit. Okay? You have been through some shit. Some old low vibe and toxic ass shit and you ready to bounce out of that. Okay? Because you know that there's something more out there with this three of wands out here. And this hair fit, yes. You being guided to leave all that bullshit behind. Divine masculine. You learned your lessons. This is what I'm hearing. It came through grief. It came through grief. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. What else can you tell me about the devil, please? And thank you, my love. But this is also, too, somebody... Ooh, okay. I heard you, Spirit. For some of you guys, heartbreak. Damn, I couldn't even get it out of my mouth. Three of Swords. Mm-hmm. Three of Swords. And at the bottom is the Knight of Swords. Yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. You did some shit too fast, and you broke your own heart here. Okay? It's like you went in the wrong direction. Now you're trying to see what else is out there because the direction that you went in is fucked up. It's the Three of Swords out here with the Knight of Swords. Some type of challenging information had came into you where you had to be the Queen of Swords here. You had to cut this shit out. You learning your lessons in love is what I'm hearing. This is the same energy here that from last week. Mm-hmm. Okay. Whew. For some of you divine masculines, you found out you had an STD. I'm a, from your hoish ways. I'm going to put that right there like that. That's just what the fuck it is. Okay. And it pissed you off. You are highly pissed off. You you want to say a thing or two about a thing or two because you found out somebody that gave your ass something. Or this is somebody about you that want to tell you a thing or two about a thing, to, thing or two because you gave them something. It's here. It's here. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what can you tell me about the uh, Knight of Wands? Why is that Knight of Wands energy here? Thank you. The Strength card could be dealing with a Leo. Yeah, this ego over here. Uh-huh. Yeah. See, this is healing. You had to get over some shit here with this strength card here with the Knight of Wands. You had to get over some shit. I'm hearing healing. You had to heal. Heal. Heal from... It's a it's a toxic disease around you. I'm sorry. It's... it's, it's sorry, not sorry, but shit. This your shit. From being out... Look, you was non-committal. You was in and out of people's lives... Or you let somebody run in and out your life, and now it's some type of toxic energy. And that toxic energy is an STD here. This is for some, not all. Take the messages as they resonate. But this is for a specific person. Now you have to heal yourself from that. You knew it. You knew if you was going to fuck with this person that this might happen and it did. You're seeking counseling for this. Trying to heal from this. Spiritually heal from this. Here. 
I heard health scare. Yep. What can you tell me about the hierophant, please? Prayers are being prayed here. This is that they're grieving. You want to reconcile with somebody, but you can't because of it's, it's, a, it's a medical issue here. This is what I'm getting. Okay, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. What is the Hierophant, please? Thank you. The Empress. Mm-hmm. You're grieving her. You're grieving his loss here. You're grieving the fact that you lost her because you went out and you was with your player ways and, and you got caught up in some shit. It could be a lifestyle. Now, STD, it's a, it's a disease. It's a, a disease of the spirit or the disease of the body. Okay? Spiritually transmitted disease or sexually transmitted disease. But there is a d disease here in your energies. It's a foreign body that has been invited in. Spiritually or physically. Honey, that STD is, is, is STD. STD, spiritually or sexually transmitted disease. Whew. Jesus Christ. All right, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. What can you tell me about the Three of Wands? What is the Divine Masculine waiting on looking for? I'm saying flip. The Magician. Let's get one more. How to make it happen. How to make shit happen. Mm -hmm. See if you could create an outcome that you want. Oh, I heard how to get through this. Yeah. You putting in motion. You putting plans into motion on how as to how to get through this here. You looking for answers is what I'm hearing. Okay. Holy Spirit. Holy Angels. <clears throat> oh, my throat chakra. Oh, oh, no. oh my God. My throat chakra just, oh, it just clammed up. Oh, my. Okay, baby. Hold on. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Sorry. I had to, had to do something. All right. <clears throat> oh, oh, thank you. Whew. Oh, my God. Holy Spirit, holy angels. Oh, they just tighten up my throat chakra like that. So you're not speaking. You're not talking to this divine um, feminine here. Okay, you're trying to manifest her back in your life here. Okay, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. What else can you tell me about the Three of Wands? This is what you're waiting for. This is what you're looking out for. You're looking out for her to come back because of some shit that you're trying to do. What's this? The Ten of Pentacles. Where'd it go? The Ten of Pentacles. Oh, it was an upright. Sorry. It was an upright. I'm taking it. Yeah. Could have had a family with this divine feminine here. It's making me feel like a married couple here with this Hierophant, this Empress, and the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, y'all was a family at one, one point. And you broke up. And it wasn't until you broke up that you realized how much this woman loved you. This is what you're grieving and heartbroken about. Now you got to deal with your devilish ways and your, uh, uh, I'm hearing narcissistic ways, but... This is what I'm. This is what I'm feeling. It's a, it's, it's, a, it's a narcissist here, or was here, learning lessons. I heard. It. Yep, learning lessons through love. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This is spiritual warfare. You have the devil and the hierophant out here. You're, you're, yeah. You're fighting a spiritual battle within yourself because of a heartbreak here that you cause with your player ways. I'm just saying. Look, the emperor at the bottom of the deck. Come on, baby. Now you got the emperor and the empress out here. I told you this. This is a marriage. This is a spiritual marriage here. Somebody done de deviated from this uh, twin flame connection here. And they feeling the grief and the sor sorrow of that here. Okay? This was a marriage that was made in the heavens. It had a chance to come down to the 3D. You know who your divine feminine is. You've been in relations with her. Now you know who she is. And you want it all back. But like I said, this is a ripping away energy here. Okay, this reconciliation, they are not coming towards each other, being ripped away here. This is why it hurts so. Oh my goodness, Divine Masculine, what did you do? 
Oh, what did you do? This this divine feminine has healed. I'm gonna tell you that right now. She's healed from this. Okay? Holy Spirit, holy angels. Let's see. What can you tell me about meditation brings act answers and then take action? What's the message? Holy Spirit, holy angels, what's the message? Can you kick it out, please? Thank you. Look, the magician out here again. Okay, here we have the Knight of Swords, the Two of Cups, and the Magician. This is what you need to do. You need to talk to her. You need to talk to her. That's why my throat chakra closed up. Because this is some challenging information that you guys need to come together and talk about here. This is what you need to manifest here, okay, in order for you to heal from this heartbreak and, gr this heartbreak and grief that you caused yourself. Or she could have caused it. I mean, flip the energies as they may, but this there is a coming together that needs to be had here. Okay? And look, he's this energy is moving away from this two of cups energy here. Like I said, there's a ripping away here. One wants to come back and the other doesn't. Okay, and it's making me feel as though this divine feminine do not want to have nothing else to do with you. Look, four of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. I can't make this up. She holding back from you. Okay. All right. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. What other message do you have? Yeah. But you need to meditate and find the answers within yourself in order to heal yourself from this or heal this connection within yourself. Okay? You don't have the answers here. Okay? You need to ask Spirit. The Queen of Wands is here. This is an outside energy. Why is she, why is she here? This. And the Ten of Wands. It's hard to get to her. There's a lot that needs to be done in order for you to get to, towards this Queen of Wands. This Queen of Wands energy is somebody that's confident here and spiritually protected here. But it's going to take a lot for you to get to her. Look, the Seven of Swords is here. Come flipping out. Okay? Somebody is being sneaky and lying. Are you not being honest with yourself, Divine Master? Temperance. Sagittarius energy is here. This is what you have to do. This is what you're trying to do. But it's making me feel as though you're trying to go about it the, the long way around or the underhanded way around here in order for you to get to this divine feminine that is holding back from you. Are you holding on to her? Okay, trying to sneak your way back around. There's some lies here. The truth, of, the truth about a lie is coming out. Could be because of a Queen of Wands, but no, no, no. I heard your spirit. Okay, thank you. This Queen of Wands is this Empress. You think she's just the, the end all the be all. For some, for others, there is another female in the background here. And she's pissed. Look, Ten of Cups in the reverse. I can't make this up. This person is unhappy and pissed. What is this? Five of Swords, jealous. I told you. There is another female in your energies that's around here. The four of cups that you're regretting. You're regretting this here. You're regretting the fact that any of this has happened here. You want to heal this. You want to heal yourself from this here. Divine masculine. Very unhappy here. Heartbroken. Yeah, the ten of sword, the ten of cups in the reverse and the three of swords out here. Very unhappy with the actions that you have taken. And it could have been the actions towards somebody else. It's starting to make me feel like third party here. This is why you want to reconcile. The, the Knight of Wands came out again. And the Ace of Wands came out again with the Page of Wands. There's a lot of passion here. Okay? There's a lot of sexual energy here. And the reason why I say that is because you got that devil here. But the hair fit, that's, that's spiritual warfare, and it's coming through sex. That's why I said it's an STD out here. A sexually transmitted disease or a spiritually transmitted disease, divine masculine. What can you tell me about the uh, five of swords? Somebody is highly jealous here of, of this connection. Or you could be jealous of this divine feminine because you shit. Hey, dangling, hell. I got the king out here, but you, you moving. You have a lot of partners is what I heard. Sexual partners here. And that's how those spiritually transmitted diseases happen. That's how they jump from person to person because of the people you have sex with. That's right. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. What's the Bible source, please? 
Okay, you talk about the five of swords, please. Why is it here? Rejection. Mm-hmm. Pissed off that somebody rejected you. Somebody could have hurt. Oh, you don't want to tell this person about this. Yeah. Can you pop it out, please? Okay, they said it's coming. All right. Thank you. The two of swords. Now you have the two of swords and the five of swords, which is the seven of swords again. You are pissed at the fact that you are blocked off from this empress. And something else then flipped around here, so I thought. Uh-uh. Okay. Yeah, you are pissed off at that fact with the moon. There's still secrets here. Could be dealing with a Pisces. There's still secrets here. Like I said, that's why that my throat shocker, it, it locked up, because you're still holding secrets from this divine feminine about this queen of wands that you're dealing with or that's in your energies, or your sexual adventures that you had. You had many, many partners here, divine masculine, and you don't want nobody to know because now you're you're living in the repercussions of having so many partners, either through a sexually transmitted disease or a spiritually transmitted disease, but it is fucking with your soul like ether. What's this popping out? Judgment. Wanting to reconcile, but this empress has called judgment the uni I heard you, Spirit. The universe has caused judgment on this issue right here. Booyah, the tower. I can't make this up. The universe has called judgment on this connection. You are being judged. You will live in the judgment of your decisions against this divine feminine. Damn. You need to change your ways. You need to change the way you look at things here. Because it happened quick. Like, you got Nine of Wands out here twice. Your actions is quick. You got the Ace of Wands out here twice. This is, this is reckless here. This is reckless here. You had opportunities, passionate new beginnings with multiple people here. This is, the, the, the Empress is not the only feminine energy that you're dealing with sexually. To the point where it's like, either or but you don't know you're trying to manipulate your way through these relationship with these people and it's not working out at all the universe has their hand all over this baby because of the things that you have done okay but you need to meditate and talk to spirit and it will bring you the answers that you seek in order for you to take the actions that you need to take in order to come up from under this judgment that you caused on your life. There's no other way. Okay? What's this? I'll take it. The star in reverse. See what I mean? Wishes are not coming true. Could be dealing with Aquarius. Healing is not here. Wishes are not being granted here until you do what? Come together and heal yourself to where you could come up out of this judgment that the divine has placed upon you because of your actions that you have taken against love. Let's rock. Why is the star reverse? Thank you. The queen of pentacles could be dealing with an earth sign. Mm-hmm. And a king of cups. Could be dealing with a water sign. Uh-huh. You didn't show no love. You didn't show no love to this person who was very nurturing, loving, and caring for you. This is why the star is in reverse. You didn't. The king of cups is somebody that is emotionally in control of their feelings here. And you didn't show no love to this queen of pentacles who was very giving and nurturing with her love. This is why the star is in reverse. Why they keep popping on the floor? I'm going to take it. Look, the four of swords in the reverse, which is the three of swords in the upright. It's a lot of hurt. There's a lot of guilt, and there's a lot of regret here, divine masculine. So what you need to do, spirit says, is to meditate. Come, within, come to yourself with spirit and really get down to the nitty gritties of why you do what you do why you feel how you feel and why your intentions are what they are. You need to discover yourself through the eyes of love and the only way you can do that is if you get down to the nitty gritty of who you are with spirit here. 
these are the actions that you must take here in order for you to come up out of this heartbreak. You have three swords upright and the four swords in reverse. There's a lot of grief here. This is why you're grieving. You're grieving and wanting this reconciliation, but you need to reconcile with yourself first. You need to reconcile with spirit first in order for you to even have a chance to reconcile with this divine feminine here. You need to purge yourself, change your ways and your intentions of self. Will you do it? I don't know, but the energy is here suggesting that you should. You need to get counseling here. Spiritual counseling is what I heard in order for you to be walked through the process of coming up, coming from under judgment, coming up out of judgment with the most high because you're sitting in judgment now because of the things that you did against love. Okay. All right, divine masculine. This is what I have for you. Um, yeah. Pray and meditate. Get self-help books. Watch YouTube. Google. Um, it's a lot of information out there that is available to you for you to even get started with the meditation that brings answers. So if you don't know how to meditate, find out. Read books. Look at YouTube. There's a lot of information out there to help you on your journey. This group of divine masculines haven't even started their journey or they're just realizing that there is a journey to be on. Okay? All right, this is what I have for you. So till next time, take care. Bye.